This nurse says she worked for about seven days at two New York City hospitals while infected with the coronavirus. She went undetected because her hospital wasn't testing the staff. She doesn't want to reveal her name or where she works for fear she'll be fired. Two weeks ago, um, I was feeling back pain, a lot of back pain. And then one night I had really bad chest pain. Did you ask your hospital to test you? I was told the hospital was not testing staff. That's what I was told when I asked about getting tested. She continued to work. You wore the same mask the entire day from patient to patient to patient? Yes, yes we do. I'm touching that mask, it's on my face. I'm putting it back on, virus flies in the air, it goes right up in my nose. It's so easy to get contaminated when you have to put on something that already has virus on it. And you wore the same gown all day from patient to patient to patient? Yes, the same gown. She says the emergency room refused to test staff. So she went there in the middle of the night when she knew a friend would be on duty. I said, please, just this one time do it. I just want to make sure I don't have it. I don't want to spread anything. She said, okay, and she tested me. It took five days for the results to come back. She tested positive. Do you worry that you might have infected patients? Oh, definitely. I'm worried I, re I infected staff members, visitors, patients. We shared the nurse's story with the author of Safe Patients, Smart Hospitals, Dr. Peter Pronovost. That story is heart-wrenching, and as a clinician or just a human being, it's, it's horrible. Pronovost says he wishes the U.S. could do what's being done in some other countries. At Hadassah Hospital in Israel, utilizing tests that aren't needed for patients, they test all healthcare workers every five days. We feel that this is extremely important in order to protect our entire workforce and our patients. But this can't be done in the U.S. Sadly, we just don't have enough tests to do that right now. Which is how this nurse ended up working while infected. Fortunately, she's feeling better now and is in isolation at home. Do you think right now there are doctors and nurses working in the hospitals where you work who are positive for coronavirus? Yes, I do. Does that scare you? Yes, it does. Nobody wants to get this virus. At Hadassah Hospital in Israel, when they did their screening, they found more than a dozen healthcare workers were positive who were completely asymptomatic. Also, when we think about this nurse, she had only mild symptoms. She never had a fever, a cough, or shortness of breath, which are the official symptoms of coronavirus. So that's why doctors say this screening is so important. Otherwise, you don't know how many of your healthcare workers are sick.